Hello, everyone. Welcome to your morning coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, September 26th, 2019. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So be, that means that, first of all, well, no, that means <laughs> that um, this reading is timeless. So whenever you watch it, and it resonates for you at that time, then that is the moment for you at that, or that is the message for you in that moment or at that time, okay? It doesn't have to resonate right now. It could resonate later on down the road, okay? It may not resonate for you at all. It is a general reading, yes? <laughs> okay, so we're almost at the weekend, guys. I hope you guys have had a good week. Uh, it is Thursday, so let's get into your pre-shuffle energies because, um, Okay, so what came out first, because it's a really interesting story, all right, what came out first is the Eight of Pentacles, and it's this side of the card here, where we have the craftsman with a young child, a young boy, and I never noticed this before, but the Eight, well, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, so the Eight Pentacles are lined up here, right, but it's kind of like an apparition, you know, it's, it's, um, looking, hold on. Yeah, it's um, it's like they are in the process of being made. So it's like these are all, all these eight pentacles are queued up, you could say, in a way, okay? Um, and the energy that I'm getting from this is, I just heard, starting from the ground up, okay? Starting your work over in some way, but this is, if you're starting your work over, there's a sense of greater refinement that is being added to the work so yes you may be starting over but you're starting fresh and um you have um we'll say a better template to work from right okay also there is an energy of maybe um passing some sort of knowledge on to uh future generations with that young boy that's standing there watching maybe this is his father or maybe he's an apprentice i know we don't really have apprenticeships anymore but um, that's kind of the energy that I'm getting from this, right? You could be preparing for future generations. You could be preparing for your future in general. Um, now, this was the first card that came out. And the overall energies at that time were the world. And it was the side of the card in which we see the woman going through the portal. But we see it from, her, from the back where usually, normally you see the woman from the front in the world. Um, and then on the other side of the deck was the nine of pentacles. Okay, so you had the eight to the nine. Um, but the what I was feeling there was this sense of starting over is a sense is from a place of independence, autonomy, abundance, uh, sovereignty, that kind of energy. And that's just adding to the value of the new that you are creating because now you are creating, you are building, you are crafting from this place of independence with the nine of pentacles from a more, what I'm feeling is a more, you're doing this, you're approaching this from a more solid position uh, independent position, you know, than more than you may have been in the past, right? So then I wanted to keep going. So I, I shuffled a little bit more because I wanted to get a little more energy, um, uh, you know, a little bit more of an understanding. And we have the, uh, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. All of this is nighttime, okay? So, um, this is just giving me an energy of working behind the scenes or working by yourself, not really letting anyone know about what it is you're doing, not really trying to be too open about it. And it's not like it's be, it's out of secrecy, you know, for um, deceptive reasons. It's just, it's basically you're keeping it to yourself. You know, this is internal work, okay? The Page of Cups representing the dreamer energy, okay? The Ace of Cups representing self-love, inner union, things like that. And then the Wheel of Fortune with the Magician on it here, as you can see, is, um, you know, you manifesting on your own. I really just get in, I get a feeling that you're, you're keeping this to yourself. Um, also, you might be keeping it to yourself because it's new, 
you know this is a new project this is a new this is a new phase this may be a completely new way of approaching something so it's brand new to you you know it's not it's not it's not well practiced here with the eight of pentacles, but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be successful at it because I do feel like you're approaching this new um, development, new approach, new process, new um, manifestation, whatever. You're approaching it from a place of wisdom, like you understand, especially with what you've been through in the past, you've really taken a lot of your wisdom or a lot of the messages or guidance from the past and you're applying it to now and so you're really doing a, a, a bang up job i want to say you're doing a great job okay but it's still just it's a new phase it's a new process there there are new techniques that you might be employing there are you know stuff like that okay and then the overall energy i find this i find this to be pretty funny you still have you have the two of pentacles but it is that side of the card where it's kind of like the dog and pony show like you're putting on a show for i don't know the elite up here or just like the general public or like the people around you um your friends your family whatnot it does feel like it's a little bit of a mask type situation where you're you're just going about your business acting kind of like everything's the same when really internally you have this new process that's happening here and then you have the nine of swords on the other side and it is in fact reversed now i guess i forgot to turn it up right yesterday when i cleaned out when i when i cleaned up or straightened up after yesterday's reading because it came out i believe it came out yesterday in reverse all right there's a sense of anxiety that's gone straight up gone i just turned it right side up again because i don't i don't like to read reversals but that that was necessary that nine of swords being reversed i just feel a lot of the, this just really feels internal oh also the other thing you could be doing if you're not if this doesn't if this doesn't resonate for you as you know passing your knowledge to future generations or preparing for future generations you could be working hand in hand with your inner child here to craft to craft the new and that could have been the missing link where last where before you were here you were crafting uh, you i mean you were working away and doing really well, probably being pretty successful or somewhat successful, you know, at least maybe you were getting the job done. But now you are you could be working with your inner child, which is adding more zest, more flavor, more excitement, more exuberance, more exuberance, more creativity, more flourish, more embellishment. I don't know. You know, it, it, it feels like, and if, and you could be working, you could be doing that by just working with what brings you joy or, or um, um, pursuing that which brings you joy. That which fills your heart with excitement and laughter and fun. Yeah, that's really cool, you guys. I like that energy for you. All right. So now let's... Let's, um, you have to excuse me, guys. My mind is kind of foggy right now. I, you know, I woke up today. I went to bed maybe a little later than normal. Normally, I like to be in bed by like nine o'clock. That doesn't mean I'm asleep by then, but I'm at least like in bed doing what, I, like just kind of like drifting off, whatnot, whatever. Last night, I got to bed a little later. Maybe it was like after 10 that I got to bed. I will admit, I was watching the first few, I watched the first two episodes of, Ameri of American Horror Story, um, Apocalypse. I'm not sure I'm gonna go back to that. <laughs> I used to love American Horror Story, but now it's like, now it's just really extreme for me. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting really sensitive, but um, I went to bed and I went to sleep and I woke up the, at a normal time, usually, like I usually wake up really early that doesn't mean i get out of bed really early but i wake up but today i'm just feeling groggy and just a little tired i wonder if you guys are feeling the same way i'm not sure but i was saying all that to say that my mind is a little foggy right now so please bear with me words are going to be a little bit of a challenge today <laughs> anyway um yeah we're gonna reset and then we'll see what we have for 
today. Oh, so because it's here, I want to show you this is the side of the world that came out the first time on the overall energy for our pre-shuffle. Okay, so you see how she's going through the portal. And that um, that kind of, in this deck, it talks about saying that you can't really rush this. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have reversals now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I did that wrong. Did I? Yeah, I did. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to fix this. But you can't, but that, what that's saying is you can't really, um, rush this transition there you might be wanting to rush a transition from one the closing of a cycle one closing of a cycle and moving into the next but you can't really rush that i don't really get that sense to be honest i don't really get that much of a sense of urgency here i feel like you might just be learning to enjoy the process so much um that you you really don't care when the cycle closes out you're not really it's not that you don't care it's that you're not concerned about how long it's going to take to, to close out the cycle and really get into the next one. And that's actually ideal, okay? You wanna, you wanna be in that type of energy, that patient energy, that, that, that flowy energy, just enjoying the process instead of being so focused on the destination, okay? That's something that, you know, spiritual teachers have been preaching for decades, eons even. It's not, it's not the destination, it's the journey, all right? And that's, I, I feel like, I really feel like you guys are starting or you guys or whomever I'm channeling for you're really starting to enjoy the journey enjoy the process and that has a lot to do with integrating with or working with your inner child okay that's beautiful alrighty kids let's get into it and see what we've got for today Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, September 26th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we are giving this five shuffles today. So bear with me here. We've got one. Two. A three. <laughs> What would you like to discuss with us today, spirit? Let's see what we got here. Okay. Here we go. What would you like to discuss with us today? My eyes are closed, so anything that falls out, I will not be able to see it until I've finished the shuffle. Thursday, September 26th. What would you like to discuss with us today, please, spirit? Bear with me here, guys. We're just going to let it fall out. Thursday, September 26th, 2019. Ooh. Nothing's come out yet, guys. All right. Well, cards are jumping, but nothing really is. Nothing's being said so far. So let's just keep going until we get something. Thursday, September 26th. What would you like to discuss with us today, please? There we go. All right, they're saying one more pass. Okay, we'll do that. We will do that. And then we'll see what we've got. I don't, my eyes are closed, so I can't see what's come out. So bear with me here. Thursday, September 26th. What would you like to discuss with us today, please, Spirit? Ooh, there it is. All right, perfect. Awesome, overall energy. Ooh, we've got strength. All right, you're facing the devil here. And on the other side, none other than the Six of Wands. Beautiful. Okay? You're, you're winning. You are winning. Or should I say twinning? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. it <laughs> okay. You have 
beautiful, you have the Ten of Swords, which is in reverse. So it really looks like you are very, you are very much in this energy of overcoming some serious obstacles. Really consciously, consciously, Ace of Swords, okay? Consciously putting the past and the pain behind you. It doesn't mean that there aren't moments where um, the, the memories of certain things or the, the, the demons or whatnot, the devil won't, himself won't rear its ugly head, but that doesn't mean that you have to allow it to affect you, okay? Ace of Swords with the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're ready to let this go, okay? This is literally, I'm seeing this, the Ten to the Ace, right? I'm seeing this as the, the, the process of moving through this portal and closing out whatever cycle this is for you that was represented by the world, okay? You have judgment, Ooh, okay, with the Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man, but also the Sun. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay, cool. All right, cool. So here we go. Judgment with the Sun, okay? This is beautiful. This is a beautiful energy. The Sun is the most optimistic card in the deck. Um, it's the best card, brightest, happiest card in the deck. Maybe a close second would be the Ten of Cups, but ultimately the sun says that whatever it, whatever is going on around you, everything is A-OK. -okay. Everything is my, actually probably much better than you think, no matter what negativity may be rearing its ugly head throughout the process of the reading. The sun assures you that everything is going to be just fine, okay? So you're going through a judgment process. All right. And I think it's quite perfect that it's coming. That judgment is here. It's this side of the car where we just see the individuals in their naked glory. Right. Um, in, uh, in spiritual symbolism, being naked means being pure of essence, um, being 100% completely yourself and nothing but without any sort of garments covering you, trying to change you or, or, or any way that this is purely you, okay? But this is a little bit of a tricky process. This is very, this is, this is us stepping out of our comfort, comfort zone here with the Hanged Man and the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups, this side of the Seven of Cups really is not ideal, right? But in the context of what's happening here, it makes perfect sense because we have, what we have is the hanged man with this, it's this side of the card in which um, these two figures that were being indoctrinated by the Hierophant are now, are now standing in front of the, the hanged man saying, whoa, there is a new way to look at this or there are different perspectives that we weren't led on to or we weren't taught and that's kind of for some of us, for some of you, it might be creating a pretty chaotic situation for you. It might be inciting a bit of panic here. It's like, well, wait a second. Everything I, I was taught was a lie. It can't be a lie. What, what do you mean? The, the, the whole world is built on this structure. Do you mean the whole world is built on a lie? It's, it may not necessarily be that dialogue, but it feels like that, okay, with the Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. But again, don't worry. Don't fret because everything is going to be okay. You're going through an awakening process. And that shit ain't easy. It's not cute and it's not fun. Well, it's not always fun. Okay, well, it's not, it's rarely fun. <laughs> Unless you're some sort of like sadomasochist or something, but hey, don't let me judge you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but that's basically it. You're going through an awakening. But you're, you're, you're doing this consciously, okay? You're very conscious of this, which is probably only helping you maybe slip into a little bit of panic here or there. Um, but that's just over... The, the panic that you might slip into is really just an element of being overwhelmed with confusion because now you're, you're opening your mind to all kinds of different options, opportunities, uh, ways of experiencing, ways of manifesting, teachings, blah, 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 where you once in the past may have very tuned in and focused on one way of teaching, maybe even like tunnel vision on it, you know? Now, it's, if you had, like say if you were did have some sort of tunnel vision, now all of a sudden that tunnel is getting wider and wider and wider and wider and more and more light is coming in 
more and more truth is coming in, more and more options are coming in, and it can be overwhelming, okay? But what you need to do during this process is not let the devil slip in and start manipulating you. You just need to get comfortable with the fact that there are infinite ways of expressing, of creating, of experiencing, of living, infinite, okay? There is no one way of doing anything. I don't know. I don't know if I like that statement, but anyway, there are infinite ways of expressing and living and whatnot. And instead of allowing yourself to be overwhelmed by that, which is an open door for the devil here with the, on the strength card to slip in and start running amok and wreaking havoc. Instead, just be okay with that and just be open to exploring and, um, and finding the process or the way or the teaching or whatnot that works best for you and understand that you don't have to stick to anything forever. You have the ability to change your mind once you feel inspired to or once you feel, feel led to or once you've, you've experienced something for long enough and you're like, okay, I'm good with that. Let's go on to something else. You are perfectly, perfectly capable of doing so. You're even allowed to do so. Like there's nothing here to tell you that you can't do that. And those of you that do try and tell you that you can't do that are really just trying to control and manipulate you. So stay in your strength, stay in your truth. But this is a beautiful energy, guys. This is really, really good. Okie dokie. So let's move forward to some clarification here. What do we want to clarify? All right. Let's start with this. Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. And I want to get some further energy surrounding this on you. So I'm going to look deeper into this energy for you. Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. What is this confusion? Don't worry. Oh gosh, don't panic. There's no reason to panic here. I'm looking at this Seven of Cups energy and I'm feeling I'm feeling this energy of just like you're it's almost whomever I'm channeling for. It's like you're on the verge of completely losing your shit and you don't have to worry about you don't have to do that. Don't 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 allow that to happen. It's really it's not that bit it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's not that big of a deal either. Okay? And I feel like that's one of those instances where we all kind of like take ourselves or take life too seriously. So if you're feeling like you're about to like completely lose your shit and sink into like this 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 vat of panic, okay? Don't take yourself so seriously, don't take the world so seriously, don't take your circumstances so seriously cuz that's just that's only going to help tear you down in the end, all right? Let me give this one sh one more shuffle. And then we will see what we have here for you. Let's look a little deeper into these energies. Seven of Cups and the Hanged Man. The Fool. Beautiful. Nine. Okay. We have a bunch of stuff here, but I just want to see if anything else is going to come out first. Woo! Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Overall energy. Okay, excellent. You have the three of wands. So you're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. This is this is good. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that this is actually spiritual progress. This is par progress on your path right now. This is beautiful, all right? I'm going to cough. Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Oof. All right, we have the fool. With the Eight of Cups. No, 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 no. With the Seven of Cups. Okay. the seven, But the, I think the Eight of Cups did come out, but we'll see. You have the Seven of Cups here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. The Fool with the Seven of Cups. So there is a lot of confusion around you. Yes, we did get the Seven of Cups to clarify the Seven of Cups, but it's just a change in perspective that's happening. Literally, it's a change in perspective. Okay. And it's starting you. It's it, you're 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 setting off onto a new path king of pentacles five of wands nine of wands strength there you go strength again page of pentacles six of swords and okay and the moon right right illusion confusion 
fear. Point blank. Illusion, confusion, fear. But, let me say it one more time. Illusion. One more time for the people in the back. Illusion. The moon with the seven of cups. Okay? So the fear that you might be experiencing surrounding this shift is what? Say it with me now. An illusion. Excellent. I want you to keep reminding yourself of that. If you're sinking into this fear of the unknown, like, oh my God, everything is a lie. The fear is an illusion. Don't worry about it. Don't let the devil, with strength here, don't let the devil push you into a a panic, into panic mode, into doomsday mode. It, 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 you know, don't, 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 don't do it. Instead, just settle in, okay? Now that you're realizing that things aren't exactly how they made the, 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 the big wigs and the, the head honchos and the people in control may have, it may not necessarily, it may really not be at all what they were trying to tell you. It was. And to be quite honest, they were only trying to tell you that. Why? So they could control you. So now that, now that you're waking up from that, here comes the devil with this last ditch, ditch effort to, to, to push you out of the way, push you off this path that you are so rightfully on, three of wands, in order to keep you from seeing clearly, in order to keep you from seeing the deeper truths. Do not let this happen. Stand strong stay strong okay persevere nine of wands you got this you've come this far already don't give up now okay you have ooh okay you have the king of pentacles with the five of wands you could see the king of pentacles here as the patriarchy as the establishment. I am getting particularly for someone specific here, or maybe a number of you, this actually is a prominent male figure in your life. Maybe a father. I'm getting a bit of a fatherly energy for someone. Someone who's very well established, very well read, uh, very financially stable, financially abundant even, maybe. It could be any one of those things. Someone that you, oh, someone that you, um, you respect, whose opinion and guidance you respect, you have respected for a long time, you've gone to for this guidance and opinion for a long time. But now that's starting to change. And I'm not saying that you don't, that you disrespect this individual at all. It's just maybe you don't hold them as high in regard as you once did. That doesn't mean that they're any less of a person. That doesn't even mean that they're any less important to you. But I, I feel like maybe in terms of what this individual represents for you in your life, you're starting to become a free thinker in a way. Um, and that's leading to some sort of inner conflict or maybe even... Um, conflict or differing of opinion with this person uh, with this individual maybe you've been having this conversation with them maybe you've been trying to share some of what you've been learning with them and they're not really taking to it too well oh wait oh that's i know what this is um yeah look at that because this is the now we have we also have the page of pentacles here and i was actually about to i, I was picking all three of these up together but the Page of Pentacles card like flew out of my hand. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we could have a father-son dynamic here. Um, I know this is, I know this says the daughter of Pentacles, but this is the Page of Pentacles. So it, I, I'm pick, picking up specifically that this is a father-son dynamic, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a father-daughter dynamic. It could be a, 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 like a, a, a teacher-student dynamic, something like that. Okay, but someone here is finding their footing and I feel like the reason why the Page of Pentacles flew out of my hand when I was picking all three of these up together was because the Page of Pentacles is going in its own, is going in their own direction. 
and didn't necessarily want to be associated with this King of Pentacles energy anymore. And that's not to say that you have any lack of respect for this individual. It's just saying, no, I don't identify with that anymore. That's not me. That's not who I am. It's not ever who I really was, to be honest. I'm going in a new direction. I have a new identity. I have a new way of being. I've reached a new level because the Page of Pentacles to me is a bit of a level up, especially when we have judgment here. Because judgment is that wake up call, right? The fool with the six of swords. Moving from rough waters to calmer waters. And specifically now, in terms of this, I'll give you an example of what this means. In this situation, I'm feeling like the rough waters were, what could be, or could have been, um, trying to live under the guidance of what this individual has to say. Again, I don't wanna pass any judgment on this individual. I'm not saying they're a bad person if this represents a person for you. Or even if it's the establishment, the patriarchy, whatnot, whatever, I'm not saying this is bad. I'm not saying this person doesn't have, um, is not wise. I'm not saying this person doesn't have a, a, a beneficial point of view, but it may not have necessarily been exactly what you resonated with and yet you accepted it especially if like say this was your father as you ex you accepted it because what this is it's your father like come on the, the, our parents are who we learn from at first in life right okay but that still might have been rough for you or for whomever i'm channeling this for okay that still might have been really rough for you but now you're a free bird or you are choosing to be a free bird. You're hearing this call, judgment. You're coming to terms with who you are on a greater level, hence being naked, right? You're getting to the core of yourself. You're getting to the core of your own truth. You're letting that shine. You're letting yourself be free. And that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Very interesting. Um, I did notice here we have the sun and the moon, okay? And the moon came out as clarification for the seven of cups and the hanged man. Um, so what this is saying to me is things are being revealed or things have been revealed for you. The moon also talks about cycles. Okay, so that is another indication of a cycle coming to a close. And that's mainly because of what is the, because of either, uh, we'll say what is being revealed to you and or the understanding, the new understanding that you're coming to now in your life. All right. So I want to get a little deeper clarification. Um, I'm going to use the, the Golden Universal Tarot because um, Spirit wants to say something about this. They've been pulling me. <laughs> They've been trying to get my attention. Hey, hey, we want to say something too. All right, spirit. And it's in terms of this transition that, and you know, honestly, this really is just a matter of, again, I want to reiterate that I do not, I am not trying to bash this King of Pentacles at all. At all, guys, okay? This is literally, this is at its core, regardless of what it is you are, the, the, the teachings or the mindset, the mind frame that you are you're releasing yourself from or moving out of, regardless of how, how strict, how dogmatic or how lackadaisical, whatever, how, regardless of the circumstances there, it's literally just a matter of someone growing up, the child will go with that. We'll go with this, this father, daughter or father, son dynamic here just for shits and giggles <laughs> okay but this is the, what this feels like is literally the process of the child being born growing up learning from their parents learning from their environment and then stepping out on their own and starting to come to their own conclusions about life and starting to be their starting to think for themselves basically and this can happen at any moment in your life you know there are men and women out there that are well into their 30s and 40s and are still kind of under the control or the manipulation of their parents right so at some point, someone's gonna wake up and be like, uh, I'm gonna go in a different direction, actually. And that's not a bad thing. I don't know how this King of Pentacles energy might be taking it, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> 
I'm not here to try pass judgment on that. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cough again. <clears throat> okay, so spirit has something to say about this, about this process that you're that you're going through, this this process that you're under here. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle. And then we will see what we've got. All right, Spirit, what do you have to say about this? Direct channeling, direct message from Spirit here. Ooh, yay, the King of Cups. Ace of Wands, all right. Now, the King of Cups is a really good thing here because the King of Cups is representing emotional responsibility, emotional mat maturity. Ooh, okay, This all this too. All right, Spirit. So we're ending with the overall energy of the Ace of Swords. All right. And the Ace of Swords is here twice. Five of Cups. Death. Five of Swords. And now the Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. And you have the Knight of Swords. Ooh. Underneath the King of Pentacles, you do have strength again. Look at that. Okay, so someone, Spirit is saying here that someone, what this means or what is going on here is that someone ha is, is coming to the emotional maturity, the emotional um, responsibility to stand up for themselves, go forward for what Spirit is saying, go forward for what they know is right, at least just for themselves, okay? Um, they are inspired in some way. And it looks like there might be a little bit of a combative energy because we do have the Knight of Swords with the Five of Swords. So like I said, I don't know how whomever is represented by the King of Pentacles here, I don't know how um, they're taking it. Doesn't look like it's, it's going too well, okay? Or at least what, I, what I'm feeling here is there is an energy of not wanting to let go. You do have the Five of Cups with death and thus the five of swords so there's a transformation happening okay there's a transition happening something is closing out something is literally dying i don't think someone is dying i think there is an energy that's dying here that's dying out right which is causing remorse five of cups okay but then that might be turning a little combative because someone is like no you're not going to leave me like this five of swords that absolutely is a, a lose-lose situation because now instead of just allowing something to go through, uh, someone, allowing someone to go through their transformation, now whomever is being, I guess, left behind is going to pitch a, uh, pitch a fit, throw a fight or, or, or start a fight is saying, no, you're not going to, I'll be damned if you're going to leave me like this and is going to try and tear you down. But you see, they're not going to be successful. And this becomes a lose-lose situation because then, now that they've done that, they've just created even an even greater rift between the two of you. That, in some cases, I just heard, you may not be able to come back from. Why? Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles energy is saying here, uh, is speaking of independence with the six of swords actually but is speaking of independence okay and is speaking of unconditional love is speaking of um, individuality right and I, this feels like an energy of someone that has come to terms with individuality and the, va the value of it and is moving forward with that and if someone else is not happy about it. It's really not their problem, says the Queen of Pentacles. And the more you make a fuss out of this, the worse it's gonna get between us. Because that's exactly the type of energy that I'm trying to move away from, says this Queen of Pentacles energy. This really could be anybody. I'm seeing the King of, Pen the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles as the same person, really. The balance between masculine and feminine energy Okay, the Queen of Pentacles being grounded in the physical 
and now the and the king of pentacles or the king of cups now being being ready to move forward with authenticity emotional maturity that kind of thing Re emotional responsibility i hope this is making sense because like i said i'm having trouble finding the words <laughs> Words are a little challenging this morning. Moving on with care, grace, and understanding. It's interesting because you do have the king and the queen of pentacles here, um, but those are not the same people. I'm seeing the page of pentacles the king, of Pen the king of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles as one person, all right? This is the person that's kind of growing up, reaching a new level and going, going off in their own direction. I'm seeing the King of Pentacles as the opposition here. And now there doesn't have to be all that much opposition. Although for some, especially since this is a general reading, for some situations there is a bit of opposition and it's in the form of the Five of Swords, okay? So be careful of that, especially with this Knight of Swords energy. I'm also seeing this Knight of Swords as the same person that is represented here as the Page of Pentacles, King of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. Because it's like they now have something to fight against. Because things have been revealed. Illusions have been blown wide open. Untruths have been sur have, have surfaced. Okay? Deception has, to, has surfaced. The moon. And now someone has something to say about it. Now someone has something to fight against, I guess. Although I would not recommend that you really try and fight anybody unless they're coming at you with this Five of Swords energy. But even then, I would caution you against being being too combative. Ooh, I just heard being too emotional because the more you allow, because you do have this King of Cups energy here. So the emotions are here, all right? But you gotta keep those in check because the more you allow those emotions to get in the way or to influence you, the more vicious something some someone might be knight of swords all right but just keep that in mind but i do I, I am seeing the queen of pentacles as the opposition to the king of pentacles here mainly because of the cardinal nature of the queen the unconditionally loving nature of the queen the, the king is not that flowy the king is way more rigid the king is the fixed sign the queen is the cardinal sign the fixed signs are rigid they see, they take, they follow one path and one path only. There is no room for deviation. And there are times where that is actually beneficial. That is actually ideal. Okay? But in this situation, someone here is breaking free from that and is allowing themselves to go in a new direction, to blaze a new trail, in a sense. Okay? And that is being led by the heart. It's being guided by the heart, King of, Pentacle, uh, King of Cups. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> so some advice here, because this Queen of Pentacles energy, I mean, she can be pretty harsh. Once she closes a chapter, she doesn't always intend to reopen that chapter. Or once she closes a door, she doesn't always have intentions to reopen that door, depending on how uh, tumultuous the situation was that it caused her to close the door to begin with right but so advice for this individual that's in this queen of pentacles king of cups energy page of pentacles nine knight of swords just be careful uh, keep in mind that um, in you going in this direction you are challenging what this king of pentacles stands for and that may come across as a threat to them. And that's why this you might be faced with this Five of Swords energy. Just keep that in mind. Okay, I would, I would, now, now it depends on how, how, on how vicious things get. It depends on how vicious things get. But you may not want to really completely close the door forever. You may want to close it enough to allow the emotions to die down, to allow things to boil o to, 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 to blow over. And then later on, you can come back together and kind of maybe try and reconcile. All right. But that was something that was coming through. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay. Just keep that in mind as you make this transition. 
Okay, we're going to close the reading now, and we're going to continue with the Lightworker Oracle. One last shuffle here, and then we'll see what we've got for your Oracle Guidance today. Best message, please, Spirit. Excuse me. Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. For today, Thursday, September 26th, 2019. Best message, please. There it is. Ooh, card number eight, Star Child. Oh, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, eight is the col uh, is a color, is a number of abundance. All right, so keep that in mind. Here we go. Star Child. The light of the stars exists in you. The earth wants you to share that light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you, mar that you are meant to be here, that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong someone else to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make much, no, I'm sorry, where, where it shall make such a positive difference in the world. Fall in love with earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to read this little part first uh, before we end. The challenge for a star-seated soul is to accept human beings as they are without despairing over their darker side. The violence may frighten you, but your love will help humanity learn to use that violence to dismantle old structures and create new ways of being. It can be channeled to energize humanity with a can-do attitude towards creating a more loving and functioning world. I'm sorry, functional world. Remember, you came to this planet to learn to help to heal, to learn and to help heal others. You agreed to take this journey because you can assist both the earth and humanity to evolve their frequency. It is possible and you are helping make it so. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.